Did you know that post-it notes were the result of a failure? In 1968, a technician named Spencer Silver, who was working for 3M, was trying to develop a high-strength adhesive. And the formula he came up with, well, it would stick to almost anything, but it didn't stick very hard. So he considered it a failure. It wasn't until six years later that a colleague of his, Art Fry, came up with the brilliant idea of taking that same adhesive, attaching it to a bookmark, and using it for, well, in, in Art's case, he wanted to use it to save his space in his hymnal. And it was that discovery that formed the iconic post-it note. It's amazing how God can take things from our past that would otherwise be failures and use them for good. In the book of Genesis, which we've been reading together as part of our first five series, we read there the story of Joseph, and a horrible thing happens to him. His brothers sell him into slavery, uh, but God ends up using that horrible event for good. As Joseph ends up in Egypt, and through that event, Joseph's entire family is preserved in the midst of a famine and ultimately prospers greatly. When we give our mistakes to God, God can use them for good. And we're going to be talking more about that on Sunday, and I hope you can join me at 9 or 11. But until then, I hope you'll be thinking about how can you give your mistakes to God and trust him to do something good in you through that. God bless you.